the game looks like so far because we went ahead and created the character already. You will not see the loading menu this time because I'm a dumb fuck. Anyway, shall we get into it? Intro. Let's start. Game start to this. Oh, good lord. Sorry, that was mean. That was too mean. Oh! Whoa, hello. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Same. I groan, squinting at my phone. Morning already? I guess it does seem pretty bright outside. Well, no fucking shit! This looks like a really good pastel painting. It is, it really is. The backgrounds are so pretty. Um. I've played through like five minutes of this game, but I haven't played very much of it. <clears throat> um, anyways. I stretch for a moment and then roll out of bed with a sigh. Shuffling Same. sleepily around my room, I pull on some clothes and shove today's textbooks in my bag. I pick up the today's bag textbooks. and then set it down again. On second <laughs> thought, maybe I'll just bring books for my first class. Who joined? Hi, Max. Oh, hello, Mags. Now, now we have Mags on board. Uh, Monstrata Fracture. That's the one. I forgot the name. I knew it had a monster in the name and the title. <laughs> uh, welcome. We have literally just started. You have not missed much. My dog is begging outside my door. Understandable. My dog in a nutshell. My dog would just kind of lose to whomever is All right. nice to her. Now, yeah, that, that's for you. now, what did I do with my dorm keys? Uh, I don't fucking know. Where should we check, I my boys? Uh, check the trinket box. Are we checking the trinket yeah. box? Let's see if there's any sex toys in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> open. Hey, I open the trinket box box. That's among my other belongings. It looks a bit silly. Uh, something from one of those paint-your-own type craft kits that a desperate relative might give a child they don't know well. Great. It's hand-painted with a moon and star pattern that does nothing to disguise a child's clumsy technique. I remember painting it, but now that I think about it, I can't remember who gave it to me. As a college student, I probably should get rid of it now. Huh? And so what the gremlin uh, snuck this into my trinket box? I don't know. As a college student, I probably should get rid of it now. On the other hand, it's the only place I regularly remember put important items so I don't lose them. It's like my keys, yet. which are winking up from me, from at me from the contents of the box. I swear I'm not illiterate. You got the key. Right? <laughs> I swear, if Dad's calling me, I can't see the chat right now. Let's see the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got, uh, yeah. yeah. We're recording this. Uh, nice. All right. Now that I'm dressed and have my things, I should scrounge up some kind of breakfast. I head for the dorm's makeshift kitchen. My roommate greets me with a grin. A grin? Says the shadow person. Who wants to read for Francis? I'll do it. I... Hey, give me a link. Sleep one? No. Considering we're sleeping in an old haunted castle instead of the actual dorm hell halls, yeah, decently well. Oh, personally, I think it's pretty cool. Just more like an adventure with me. Yeah, I guess a lot of adventures probably start with arson, right? Yeah. Hey, they never proved it was arson. That sounds oddly incriminating when you say it like that, Francis. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of water. <laughs> Stay yourself the life. Get yourself the life juice. I'll be fan. Francis laughs and glances at the time. So, I thought you had a class of ten. I do. Why do you think I'm up this early? Early? 
What time do you think it is? Because it looks like it's nine nine thirty five. No way, it's not even nine yet. I just checked my I gasp, slapping a head to my hand to my forehead. I forgot no, to change I like what a hand to my forehead. Do you want me to really slap no. my head while I do this? No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. I forgot to change what time zone I'm in. I have location services turned off, but I don't take the time to answer. I desperately shove a handful of dry cereal in my mouth, sling my bag over my shoulder, and dash out the door. Here's hoping I don't get lost on the way to class. That's amazing. Of course, I get lost immediately. I find myself deep in the bowels of the castle, wandering desperately and trying to find a familiar landmark. Wait, was there a school in the castle? Yeah. The further I go, the more unfamiliar the place becomes. I'm almost certainly going to be late for class at this rate. I check my phone for the time and breathe out a curse. <laughs> another corridor. Four more doors. Another corner. Around and around I go. Going in circles. They say when you get lost, you're supposed to stay in one place and wait for someone to find you. It's not like anyone is going to come looking for me. Another corridor. Another door. I round another corner and finally spot a tapestry that looks somewhat familiar. I might be getting close to finding the way back. Now I know where I took a wrong turn, so I can probably find the classroom if I head down that way. I take a step forward and then stop. To my left is another door. One I hadn't noticed before when I came through this hallway. A heavy, foreboding door. <laughs> my curiosity gets the best of me as it often does. As it often does, I reach for the door and pull it open. It takes some effort, creaking forward like the bones of an old man. Beyond, a musty smell rolls up from the shadowed depths, sharp stone steps <coughs> descending into the dark. I know what this is without needing to be told. The castle's old dungeons. A tiny silver of my heart yearns to explore this ominous cavern. But at the same time, I probably shouldn't. I'm already just barely going to be in time for class as it is. Certainly, it won't be enough time to have a real look down here. And I don't want to get in trouble on the first day. I can always come back later. Besides, something about this feels off. Like if I walk down these steps, something terrible is going to happen. It would be better to turn back and come back later. I checked the creepy dungeon. Let's and you might find save. the local BDSM club down there. Well, actually, yes. Yeah, we're, we're gonna save first. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's a blue lady. Oh my god, look at that blue lady. This, I is, this it. is a blue man. It's a blue man? I want to smooch it. I mean, blue man! Whoopsie! Okay. I don't care. Blue man, blue woman, green man, green woman. I'll smooch him. Let's check out the creepy dungeon. My curiosity wins out. It looks like a titty, but it's not. It's a man titty. It's a man titty. They have pecs. It's the same. Well, this man, this this man has titty. Look, unless we're talking about the Bara titty, there is no titty. Well, he has Bara titty. Oh shit! Yeah, What's the Bara titty? The Bara titty is soft. You sleep on it, and it's like ugh. Bara titty is best of it. My curiosity yeah, wins out. Yeah, yeah. If I only look around for a minute, I should still be able to make it to class on time. I begin to descend the steps. I slip and fall fucking knock my head on the stair. The air turns noticeably colder. I shiver and let out a strangled cry when I see blood oozing down the walls. Oh, fuck no! Wait, well, it's just water damage. damage. <laughs> this place is old, after all. I shouldn't be so jumpy. Wait, so how's blood coming out of the pipes? It's not blood, it's rusty water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still, That's the foreboding feeling I had before is even stronger now. I can't push aside the thought, if I keep going, I'm going to die. Keep going. I will love that. I was gonna say, please be dramatic with that last line. Okay. Even though it's silly, incredibly silly, there's no reason I would die just from going down some old steps. Unless my professor murders me for being late. I can't help but wanting to turn back, though. Fuck it, let's keep going. Save! We save, then we keep we going. We save! We save, no, then we, we keep... We do it again! 
Oh yeah. my god, are we gonna do one of those let's plays that constant save and yes. make a decision? Yes. Amazing. Oh yikes. I'm into it. Let's get it. I've come this far, I might as well see it this through to the end. I take the last few steps into the pitch black. It takes a few moments for my eyes to adjust to the darkness. I rub my nose, which is beginning to run from the chill, pure stubborn and peer stubbornly against the suffocating black. I'm kind of <clears> disappointed <throat> when I can finally see. It's not a spooky dungeon at all, or at least not anymore. Now it's just some old storage space for a bunch of miscellaneous old furniture. Desks, mirrors, dusty linens, half-used candles, chalkboards. What a waste of time. I laugh a little at myself being so silly as to being scared of coming down here, and then turn back and trek upstairs to find my classroom. I get to the lecture hall, and the professor goes over the expectations and the syllabus. I pay attention for a while, but you can only focus on that sort of thing for so long. So eventually, I find myself gazing around the room at my other classmates. There's a lot of interesting people at the school. It's pretty well known for its art programs, so that's probably why. One girl who has texted rapidly, rapidly on her phone has glimmering scale-like makeup on her face, which is pretty neat for a first-day look. I kind of wish I had that kind of confidence or skill. I don't think that's makeup. Where another girl is wearing cat ears, the mechanized kind that fucking twitch. It must be a pretty advanced model. Uh, they look way more real than the ones I've seen at conventions. One guy exactly. is wearing what might honestly be the bottom half of a fursuit, even in the Ooh. ebbing heat of summer. Very sure are dedicated. Damn. That was My eyes model. pass over another guy sitting in the front row in front of me, who has shiny green ribbons twisted into his hair. No, wait. On closer inspection... Oh, my God. Yeah, see, there's Titty. Yeah, there's Titty. There's Titty. The Titty. Oh, this actually moves. This moves. Look, I'm moving my mouse. Oh, my God. That's weird. Ew, I hate it. I'm actually getting a little nauseous. I got on the way from. Wow, that's the yeah, first time a game is ever get nauseous when it comes to this sort of stuff. No, wait, on closer inspection, the uh, ribbons appear to be seaweed. Because I was just gonna go uh, just do this over his titties, but apparently it's just gonna make everybody sick, so I'm not gonna do that. Wait, do what? Your mouse isn't even showing up. Oh, I would. I it's called in the background till everyone's cute. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> a pop. I probably don't do that. Think about the people who are going to be watching this too. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, oh right. I forgot this. Apologize to the people. I'm sorry. Oh, I refuse. Uh, Zeph. Say so do, do it more. Yeah, Dad. They'll suffer with us. <laughs> no wait. A pop. Guys, guys. Can I continue? Uh, oh yeah. No, wait. Upon a closer inspection, the ribbons appear to be seaweed. I stared at him for a bit too long, trying to figure out if he really has seaweed in his hair, and he happens to glance back and catches me looking. His face flushes vibrantly purple. Wait a second. His skin is teal. Okay, how did I miss that? Because you're a blind bitch. I mean... Makes sense. Yeah. Say blue people like what is going on here? I look quick away quickly and feel my face, wondering if I have some sort of delirium inducing fever. But I seem to be fine. When I glance back, the seedweed guy is looking away, clearly embarrassed. I too. I look away too. Also embarrassed. So wait, you looked away twice? No 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 no. I just I I didn't read the sentence properly. I can't help peeking again, though, because what am I supposed to think? I lean in my chair, hoping for subtlety, and give him a quick once-over. Seaweed hair, teal skin, and horse feet. Oh, he's what? a satyr. No. He's a satyr? Yeah. That's not a fashion statement. I mean, who even has feet small enough to fit in a hoof shice Shoot, this guy actually has horse feet, I think. I look away again and try to puzzle this out. I glance around at the other students I noticed earlier. The scales, the ears, the furry legs. This can't be real. But 
I think I'm surrounded by mythological creatures. I spend the rest of the class squinting around at all the creatures currently sitting around me. Some look human. Others look definitely not. It's weird, but I feel like I'm not as alarmed as I should be. Probably because part of me is convinced that this is some weird dream that I'll wake up from any minute. Maybe but some unfortunately, stress this is a visual novel. <laughs> so it's real. I feel this all too well right now. <laughs> I know. Some stress After nightmare waking about... waking up from three lucid dreams in a row, I feel it. Right? Oh, ow. That's, that's a big old oof for poofer. Maybe some Just stress nightmare reality. about making... About being in an unfamiliar place and worrying about making new friends. And behind me, I hear someone whisper, Is that a Kelpie? Another female voice responds in quiet tones. Who wants to do it? What do you need a boy? We need a girl. Okay, thank you. So, what do you do now? I glance back at them just in time to catch a glimpse of the first girl shrinking down in her seat with a whimper, her large fox ears pinned down in agitation. I didn't think the school would, I mean, aren't they kind of... <laughs> no! The other girl's reply is low and conspirational. Yeah, but they tend to, tend to act civilized, but you should see what they, they'll they do to a goat or sheep. I hear oh, they that's judgmental. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, I believe it went over, I think one of the ra warnings was racism, and this is definitely yeah, racism. Is this racist? Yeah, this is racism. This is definitely, like, racism. <laughs> I hear they rip it apart with their fangs like it was lettuce, while it struggles and shrieks. The sound must be awful. Oh, God. Fuck. The fox girl lets out a muffled sound that might indicate she's hiding her face with her hands. Ew. We're still working out here. I can't wait to have a sick He's not there. Get Ahead of me, it. Seaweed Boyd's ears have turned purple as his blush, and I realize he's probably the person they're talking about. Oh, I glance right. back at them sharply, and they fall silent when we make eye contact. For a moment, yeah, anyway, so. before I cut at your fox <clears throat> girl's whisper again. What is that? I don't know. Some sort of elf, maybe? No way! Look at the ears! Great! They're talking about me now! I stare straight ahead at the front of the hall and focus on ignoring their gossip. Class ends, and if this is a dream, I do not wake from it. I collect my books and papers and leave the lecture hall with the rest of the monster students. A boy with elf ears hurries past me. A girl who might be half shark chats excitedly with her friends. A skeleton walks by with a bucket and a mop. I can't help staring, but a I can't. Wait. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is the bucket and mop reference to that one book about a skeleton that orders a beer and a bucket and a mop? Oh, I think so. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Have you guys never heard of that joke? Yeah, there's a joke about a skeleton that walks into a bar. He orders a beer and a mop. Why? Tell me. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never heard that joke. Dumb. Oh, yeah, it, it, it like starts off like, so, a skeleton walks into a bar. He orders a beer, a bucket, and a mop. You can guess what happens from there. That's amazing. And dumb. But I, I mean, like them. Skeleton puns are great. Oof. Best. Sorry, we got off track. I can't help staring, but I try not to let anyone else catch me doing it. Passing... The windows on the second floor, I can see down to the courtyard where more monsters are relaxing and socializing. A group, a flock of brightly colored creatures catches my eye. The colors from the vibrant feathers spanning from their bodies, and all of them have wings. I stop to look at them. I can't help it. <laughs> there are three of them in total a boy with flowing black hair and black wings, a girl with short purple hair and pink and blue feathers, the and the flashiest of all, a boy with rain. A rainbow of iridescent purple, red, and yellow plumage. They're shortly thereafter joined by another girl with a sweeping train of peacock plumes, and the four of them chatter animatedly. I feel a twinge of envy, remembering the friends I left back home. I'm about to walk away when the red and purple one looks up directly at me. 
I'm sure he can't see me at this distance and through a window. But when he smirks, leans over to his black-haired friend and, and points at me while saying something. The woman with black hair looks up at me, too, cracks a smirk of his own, and the red one winks at me and blows a kiss. Blushing furiously, I turn away from the window and quickly make my way back to my room. When I get back to the door... He, he flirty! When I get back to the dormitories, I consider calling my parents. This has been an awfully weird morning so far, and Dad might have some answers. He's a professional witch, so he probably knows about monsters and stuff like that. We save. Yeah, let's save. Let's save. <laughs> How many times have we saved now? Three. Three times! Let's keep track, people! <laughs> How many times does DTS save in a game? Honestly, last time it was eight. Something that we see as a counter. Call Papa. Let, let uh, us let's, call let's the just Papa. Jump, let's just jump into it. Just no. Aw. Oh. Ring, ring. After a couple of rings, it just goes to voicemail. He must be busy now, right now. I'll try again later. <laughs> I hear a movement in the kitchen area. Investigation into the sound proves it to be Francis, back from class and rifling through the cabinets for food. I should consider eating as well, actually. Um, oh, hey. Did you make it to your morning class? <coughs> yeah, barely. Good cough. Thanks. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. It's been such a weird day. What happened? Uh, you didn't notice? Notice what? The, you know, students. Oh, yeah, you know. I really wasn't expecting that either. Didn't start a college person? Wow, my love. Are you making fun of me? Only a little. What's wrong with the students? They're, like, weird, aren't they? I mean, I haven't spoken with the, with the majority of them in my record. I assume they're all weird, normal. Quite normal. I mean, they look weird. Wow, that's racist, Jesse. Yeah, I was going to say that. Jesse! Jesse, honey, we Jessie. talked about this! Stop pulling the racism. Honestly, I started to stand for you, child. at me and I shift uncomfortably, regretting my word choice. Well, I don't get it. It's kind of run out joke. Joke? What do you mean? They look weak. Oh my god, this is making me... You didn't notice the, I don't know, animal ears, tails, horns, stuff like that? <laughs> There's a long pause while Francis seems to assess me. Wow. He must be in a class with, like, a ton of wings in it. I mean, that's not. I almost press on to explain that the hallways were filled with monster people, too, but I stop myself. Francis has no idea what I'm talking about. Am I delusional? Yes. <clears throat> Probably. Maybe, Jesse. Honey, we don't Maybe know what's going Jessie. on. Just realize he was in a coma the whole time. <laughs> This is Mag's line, but I don't know if it's my connection. We good? I can hear you now. Oh, is yeah. that what happened? Yeah. The video. Okay, we're good with the recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I was gonna say yeah, the recording isn't the Bye. best thing we should do, especially on your computer. <laughs> well, it's only recording on mine. Anyways, what's good? Clearly, my life. When you do have that class again, maybe I'll have a home. Uh, Wednesday. That's a right. At the same time, my English composition class. Oh well, maybe next semester. I know it absolutely. Not really listening anymore. What is going on? 
on Your Wednesday. Extract. My lecture class is still the same. Still packed with monsters seeking out higher ex education. Now that I see it, I can't believe I didn't notice before. Honestly, how did I miss the girl with the red skin and ram horns? Seaweed boy is here again, sitting in front of me, a bit to the right. Behind me and to the left, I hear the restless tapping of Bunny Girl's pencil. She's probably bored since it appears Fox Girl is absent today. Look at Seaweed Boy. I uh, Seaweed Boy. Save. I think we all <laughs> just love the Seaweed Boy with his bara titties. No, I don't even care about that. I want to talk to a racist bitch. Fuck that. <laughs> That's fair. Oh my God. I look at Seaweed Boy since he sits a little in front of me. He's in a good for position for me to study. His hair is tucked carefully out of his way, and I notice that he is nervously flicking horse ears on the top of his head. He looks at me again, and this time I decide to give him a little wave. His purple blush lights up his face as he quickly looks away. Once you get over the initial so shock, it's sort of cute. He takes a few more quick peeks at me, and then tentatively gives me a small wave of his own. I smile, and he hides behind his me mane of seaweed. He's so cute! I love this man. I love him. He's a shy... I don't know. I just shy to sign. I'm just gonna call it the sign by the rest of this, because that's shy all boy. I think. Shy I boy. think that no, might... His name yet. We have to learn his name, Mags. Don't be just mental about his name. Yeah, don't assume his name. Well, he's a, he's a sea god, okay? He's a god. He's a god associated okay. with sea and horses. I would not be surprised if this man's name was oh Poseidon. Oh my fucking god. I just got the joke. Huh? He's got seaweed in his hair and he has horse hoofs. He's horse. a seahorse. No, he's a kelpie. He doesn't Who look cares? at me. The joke is that he's a seahorse. Well, well kelpies but... aren't seahorses. They're just actual horses. They're just water horses that eat meat. They don't eat liver, though. They're allergic. They're water horses, yeah. Are well, we really going to go into this? Let's not talk about you. He doesn't look at me again for the rest of class, perhaps too embarrassed to do so. I hope I didn't upset him. Looking at the professor, I kind of have to wonder, is my professor human or a monster? I'm a little too far from the front to tell. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, well, since when did we go into more like a New York accent? I don't understand. I'm walking it. I'm trying to learn. What are you doing? I'm walking it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, alright, alright. You know, honestly, my disclaimer. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Disclaimer. Um. Uh, we're not making fun of the New Yorkers. We love their accent. They're amazing people. We just don't know why I Our did that. Comes from there. I mean, hey, I'm from Jersey, and I've basically I used to have the same accent. It's okay. Yeah, he comes from the armpit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> that I'm a little too far from the front to tell for certain. Then again. If stuff like vampires exist, maybe you can't tell from a distance anyway. Sure, it's dark in here for a classroom in the middle of the day, after all. I guess I was so overwhelmed by all of this, it didn't occur to me to worry that some of these monsters might be dangerous. To be fair, of course, they seem pretty civilized. Class is ending now, so maybe I should try to talk to one. I pack up my bag and follow Seaweed Boy. He's got a lead on me, but maybe I can catch him in the hall. Dang. My plan is thwarted when I am intercepted by the group of bird people I saw in the courtyard the other day. The red one catches sight of me as he passes and turns his eyes on me. Oh, oh shit, he's beautiful! Oh, oh he's hot! <laughs> Ooh. Who wants to voice this man? I did. Okay. Up close, I, I, I can see his eyes are just as colorful as the rest of him. Oh, you. You're that exotic one from the other day. Uh, excuse me, exotic? Very, you look positively mundane. His tone sounds oh, complimentary, but I'm not sure what he's saying is a compliment. What are you, anyway? Um, a person? His expression is completely unamused. Remembering that I'm surrounded by monsters, I try again. Like, 
a human. His eyes widen in surprise. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Makes sense? It just explains why you appear as you do. He smiles widely while his friends titter in the background. For a human, you're pretty cute. <laughs> I feel a blush creep up my cheeks. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I suppose you're not used to compliments. I'm a hot bird. I I guess not. I feel like this is some major backhand compliments right here. I know. Right? It's not like I've never been complimented before or anything, but for some reason I feel a bit taken off guard. He laughs. He's such an arrogant prick. I love him. <laughs> He's definitely your type. He seems like a chaotic bastard. He does. That would be what Harvey there. Also, stop being He's definitely not my type. Look, man. I can't. I gotta. I gotta ditch seaweed boy. I gotta get on the bad boy train. No, no. I I gotta stay on seaweed boy train. Hey, look, I love seaweed boy, but. I like my seaweed fan. I have to say. I have to say, we boil the way. We're gonna go through all okay. of them. Oh. Yeah. All right. It's not like I've never been complimented before or anything, but for some reason I feel a bit taken off guard. He laughs. I hate him. How rude. But you love him. I know. You're delightful. If I have time later, I would be interested in having tea with you this evening. You drink tea? Tea? Fuck what? Yeah. Oh, screen. Oh, there we go. Yes, it's a beverage made from steeping dried leaves in hot water. Oh, no. Do they think we're dumb? I, I hate it, him. I know what he is. boy, it's making me hard. You're making it hard to love you, man. We have something in common, then. Let's see. I think I will be available at six? Let's say. Do not accept. <laughs> what accept. Fuck <laughs> you. No. Jesse deserves better than a bitch bastard. Right you know for me, dog. <laughs> yeah, like everybody yeah, else is like, like don't accept. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I think I'll be busy. He doesn't seem upset. Rather, he smirks. Really? Busy with what? The fact that we don't want to be around you. Who wants to do our favorite horse boy? <laughs> we need deep voice. Give this man a deep voice. Well, I'll, I'll read it in a second. My part of the screen is like really blurry for some reason. Yeah, That's same. a mood. Mine is too. I'm a little blurry. Like, you just say Nikolai. Like, what is it, Nikolai? Yeah. Yeah, Nikolai. That's a very Russian lie. He's Russian! Leave her alone. Ooh. The seaweed boy from earlier. I don't believe this. Is any of your business on? Oh, yeah, Fuck him! Yeah, I don't like him anymore. The boy blushes purple. Hey, I don't think she likes you talking to her. You should go. The red bird, Nikolai, rolled his eyes. Do any of you smell rotting fish? Perhaps we should find a cleaner hallway to converse in. Oh, you look like jar. Get out of here. The peacock one I don't laughs, like switching tail. Like, you well, can't take it back. You said you liked him. No, I take it back. You can't. I'm jumping off this train, and I will die off of it. <laughs> the peacock one laughs, no. switching her tail, while the pink one and blue one titters along with them. Nevolent of you to even waste your time on them. We have previous engagement, remember? At the Phoenix Lounge. Oh, shit. That's what he is. For some reason, she makes eye contact with the seaweed boy when she says that last line, her expression smug. We invite you, of course, but... Oof. Rip. The three of them leave before she even finishes her sentence. The teal skin boy bears a mouthful of sharp teeth at their retreating backs. Yeah, don't waste your breath. What's the Phoenix Lounge? Some upscale club in town. You need to flash a wad of cash and a pair of wings to get in, as I understand it. 
It's not a place I would want to hang out anyway if they let in people like them. Oof. I take it they're not friends of yours. Oh, oh God. God, no. No. But you do know them. Even if I didn't, I wouldn't need to. All avian types are like that. Oh, oh that's... Avian types? Sweet boy! It's really... Uh, okay, I mean, we think he's racist. But I didn't think he was being racist. But then again, it's also that type of stuff. Like, how would racism work with mytholo- uh, uh, mythological creatures? Because there's so many of them. Yeah. I guess the only way to really categorize them by their state. I guess this makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I don't really find this to be racist. It's more... He's dealt with this bullshit his entire life. No, like, on top of that, he's just dealt with this... It's specious. Well, yeah, But it says on the tin, birds, you know, avians. Oh, what do you mean they're all like that? Arrogant, conceited, haughty, okay. condescending, rude, conniving, manipulative. Take your pick. Damn, it's just me. Uh, you sound like you have some real problems with avian types. Oh, oh um, no. they, uh, I didn't mean... It's okay, I'm not gonna hold it against you. Honestly, I don't even really know what's going on here. I'm a, a human. Maybe you could tell. Oh. Oh, that does make sense. I groan. What? That guy, Nikolai, said the exact same thing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... It just explains why you were staring at me earlier. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's not like I've ever seen a blue person before. Okay. With hubs and a fish tail. Yeah. And seaweed in his hair. Jesse! Oh my god. Okay, you can stop now. You're resisting mentioning the e- the horse ears, aren't you? Actually, it was the mouth full of razor teeth. Oh my god. Uh, oh, that's cute. So what's your name, anyway? Oh, my screen. I think my screen froze up. Oh, it's, okay, uh... Okay, I have one question. Who's, who's Haley? Gonna get it might be I'm me. I'm not doing it. Because I don't hear Sorry. one, but I'm also recording with my mic. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Kaylin. Cool. I'm Jesse. I extend my hand to shake, and he gives me a weird look. I lower it awkwardly. So, um, I didn't realize monsters attended this school. Monsters? He's giving me a we- another weird look. I suddenly feel a bit self-conscious about my word choice. Or, you know, like, all you magic creature guys? Isn't a monster a bad thing? Aw, oh, shit. Well, I don't know. I guess maybe. Oh. I didn't mean it as a bad thing. I just thought it was the term. What would the term be, then? He shrugs. People, I guess. Oof. But humans are people. Jesse, that's racist. I guess, but that doesn't mean the rest of us aren't people. Is there a word for just, like, magical creatures or fae or um, something like that, maybe? I don't know. I've never heard anyone use a word like that. I think most of us just think of ourselves as people. Alternatively, I guess you could say there's the normal world and the human world. I was starting to feel like this is a weird dream again. It's kind of freaking me out, so I changed the subject. Anyways, thanks for making sure I was okay. 
don't have to thank me. I was actually going to talk to you anyway. Oh, <gasps> uh, Oh, why? I just wanted to ask why you were staring at me, but you answered that question, so... Uh, well, I'm glad you talked to me anyway. Yeah, I, um, I don't talk to a lot of people. It's been kind of nice. He's so cute. I love him. I'm still going to say Yes, yeah. save and then invite this boy to hang out. We invite... Save number... This is save, save number, number five. Out. Invite him to hang out. We gotta keep the count. So, do you want to hang out later? <coughs> ah. Did my connection take a shit? Please... Oh. Hi, son. You alive? I'm alive. The game's still going, but I can't hear her. I see yeah. a black screen now. Sorry. Oh, what? Back. What the heck? My son, we couldn't hear you. All right, we good? We can hear you now. All right. Uh, was the line said? Cause I did not hear it. I think you all freaked out because my connection shat. Yeah. <laughs> Your connection is pretty shitty. It is. It usually is. It just, it just took a sound before. Alright. So, let's go. Well, I still see, I still see a black screen on my end. Oh, seriously? That's bad. Does everybody see a black screen? No, no I, I can see, see the game. I'm going to rectify it, like, if it was still black, I'll just try to make the back. I'll try to reconnect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to edit out all these connectivity problems. Alright, it's back for me. I don't, I don't think um, we're going to be able to edit quite a bit of this. I think we're just going to do this raw, aren't we? Probably, because it's more funny when it's raw. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, God. All right. Hang out. I'm sorry. What? No. Where do you want to go? I don't know this area that well. There's probably a cafe somewhere around here, right? Oh, yeah. There's, um, holy grounds down the street. We can meet up there later then. Maybe around six? Yeah, that would be fun. He gives me a genuine smile and I can't help. I love him! <laughs> he's, a, he's a good boy! I'm gonna cry! Don't cry? I we really haven't gotten any sad parts yet. I so know! Okay, but don't cry. I could cry from the sheer amount of love I have for this pure boy. I feel like he's not as pure as he's coming off to be, you know? Yeah, I feel like something tells me that they have something in secret, but you never really know. Everybody has secrets. There's always oh, gonna be yeah, something like, they don't... He's a fucking anyway. Kelpie. I don't trust him. I just think he's adorable and soft right now. You don't trust him. He's a fucking Kelpie. Do you know what that species does? I know, but that's the rat. Wait, what do Kelpies do? They eat people except for the liver because they're allergic. Mm-hmm. Well, uh... Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be hot. Alright. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> liver allergies are hot, okay. No, I'm saying like <laughs> you're just like on your first date and just like <laughs> eats all of you. Hey, you look it is like going out to dinner and just like over here and just like hugging her. Like, alright, time to eat. Alright, alright. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you there then.
Another class is coming in now for the next lecture. It must be a popular one because no, uh, there's quite a swarm of them. I probably should move. Should have moved out the way earlier, but it's too late now, and I'm caught in the rush of the crowd. Struggling to move through the swath of people, I find myself beginning to get overwhelmed. It doesn't help that I'm dodging wings and horns the whole time. I'm sure I'm done That's for when I lose focus for a second and trip over spectacularly over someone's thick tail. Maybe that would be the end of me if a bony hand didn't appear and pull me out of the way of traffic. When I pull myself Look together- Look at that boy! Oh, he's, cute too. he's so cute! When I pull myself together, I take a look at my savior. It's a skeleton of small stature with wide, dark eye sockets. It might sound off putting, but in a way, it looks sort of cute. Hi! Thanks for saving me. The skeleton nods and gestures with their hands outward. What? It looks like you can't speak. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like a speaking person. Uh, I wanted to do my papyrus voice. He doesn't have a bottom jaw. The skeleton well, nods and gestures with their hands outward, looking between them in a way that mimes being lost. Are you lost? A shake of the head and they point at me. Oh, me. Um, I'm not lost, exactly. They tilt their head and I get the impression they don't believe me. I'm so sorry. I think I'm being rude. Hi, I'm Jesse. The skeleton points at their teeth. It takes me a moment to figure out what they're indicating, and I realize their jawbone is missing. Oh, you don't have a jawbone. Does that mean you can't talk? The skeleton nods. <laughs> Would it help to have something to write on? Another nod. I dig through my bag to find a pencil and paper. I do find syllabus from the lecture, but it seems I've lost my pencil at some point. Probably in the rush of the crowd, or maybe in the lecture hall. I'm sorry, it looks like I dropped my pencil somewhere. Oh, what about this? I pull out my phone and open a memo out ha app, handing it to them. They stare at it in confusion. Oh, it works like this. Oh, what the- Uh-oh. It doesn't work. I type out hello world as a quick demonstration. The skeleton nods excitedly and starts to tap on the touch screen and then stops. And taps again, a bit more frustrated. Um, What's the matter? She doesn't have fingers. I look at the screen and realize the pop problem. A skeleton doesn't have flesh to operate the conductive screen. It's the equivalent of using a pen as a stylus. Okay, what if you point at the letters and I'll type them? They give me a look that <laughs> gives the distinct impression of exasperation, despite a lack of facial features. But dutifully tap the D key, I type it in. Oh, Decca. Decca? They nod. I think it's a short name, huh? They That's rattle a bit. Sister's brother's name. Which might constitute laughter. They start pointing at keys, and I tap along behind them. You lost? Still determined that I'm lost, eh? Well, I'm not exactly lost. I guess I could use some pointing in the right direction, though. Later today, I have. Th Class in 309A. Could you show me where that is, if you don't mind? Decca nods and then takes my hand again. The bones are smooth and cool, and not nearly as creepy as you would expect holding the hand of a skeleton. I find my wonder self wondering how animated a skeleton how an animated skeleton comes to be. Was Decca human like me once? I'm almost tempted to ask, but something about that seems like it would be extremely rude. Not to mention the process of getting a full explanation would be tedious. They lead me through a maze of corridors, and I focus on remembering where things are, hoping I won't get lost later. This place is huge. People probably get lost in here all the time, huh? Decca nods and gestures to a door just ahead, 309A. Oh, we're here. Thank you for showing me. That was helpful. Do we ask them to hang out? <laughs> I mean, they probably have to go back. Another day for another person. Another like this, Skeletor. Yeah, we... I like Decca. I like... I like Kaylin. We still have yet to meet one character. I just... The only character that comes out to me distinctly disliking is Nikolai. 
Oh yeah, no. I I immediately like I backpedaled immediately after I No, they fucked that guy. Hold on now. Before we lay our final judgment of the character, he might have a reason for acting the way that he does. Yeah, uh, which is why I'm just like kind of butt though. I Save want your judgment. To... I said the same thing about the last character from the last, and I was completely wrong. Eh, fair enough. A move that we make all of the windows in this building very clean from now on. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes! Alright, do we ask them to hang out or not? Yeah! Yeah, they probably have class. Because we have to ask them to hang out with me later. Then I realized I don't know when I'll be available next. Maybe another time. Aww. Today was an even weirder day, so I guess it's time to call Dad. Ring, ring, beach. Ring, ring. Who wants to be yeah. Mom? Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, it's me. Oh, hi, sweetie. I was wondering how soon we would hear from you. How are you? I'm great. Still settling in, but everything is going well. Make any friends? Anything exciting happen? Well, um, uh, now that you mention it... Could I, uh... I didn't even read my line. Oh, wait. Oops. Does it, does, yeah, okay, it does the scroll back thing. Yes? Oh, uh, can I, uh, talk to Dad? He's with a client. What do you need to talk about? I mean, nothing important. I just wanted to talk to him about something. Something you can't tell me about? It's not that I can't. I just, you know, you'll make fun of me. I try to say that lightheartedly, but I probably didn't succeed as well as I would have liked. Why would I make fun of you? Oh man, I wish I'd handled this better. Yeah, well, you, do. you know, it's about Dad's dumb magic stuff. What about it? She sure sounds serious now. Nothing important, well, I didn't just some sound stuff. serious for that. Whoops. Yeah. You're worried about the, the building being haunted? Well, not exactly. Just some odd things happened today. Odd things? I might as well yeah, just tell her I'm not through. getting out of this. I saw some weird students. That's all. I'm not trying to be real, weird, rude or anything. I just mean, I don't, they look kind of, I don't know, when, human? He's quiet for a long time. Maybe I made her angry. Oh my god, I love this one. You probably just yeah, imagined I, it. You should ignore it. That is a mom thing to say right yeah. there. Oh yeah. No, I, Mom, I really saw it. I wasn't imagining it, I'm sure. Uh-oh. Her voice is firm, almost angry. You were imagining it. Something about her tone makes me want to argue with her. How does she know whether I saw it or not? Mom, really, I saw a guy with hooves in class and another guy with feathers in the courtyard. Forget about it, you didn't see anything. Why are you arguing with me about this? She sighs. I should have prepared better for this conversation. I just didn't want to believe I'd ever have, or have to have it. Sorry, oops. What are you talking about? You have to ignore them, sweetheart. The creatures. Even if you see them. You have to ignore them. Eventually, they'll go away. Okay? So wait, what's wrong with me then? Am I delusional? You're not delusional. You just... You're seeing things you shouldn't. Damn. Wow! Let's take a moment here. Wait, what? This bit. Let's 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 hold on a second. 
what, wait, what the, what the fuck? I have to assume that, like, she knows about what her dad's, like, doing, and it's just like, don't worry about it, you stuff what you should. Uh-oh. Hey, what the fuck? I'm, I feel like I'm looking for something. Well, I, I feel mean, like she's withholding a lot of information. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I like mom anymore. Sorry. Right. I'm, like, I'm, dead. I'm sorry, mom, but I have a date with a hot horse boy. <laughs> Yeah. I have a date with yeah, a hot horse boy. We probably eat all the meat my liver. You're gonna have to stop. Tell me. Shit. Tell me, mother. Shit. It's not your fault, and there's so nothing wrong happen. with you. You just have to ignore them, and they'll go away. Okay? Go away. You won't see them if you don't acknowledge them. This it's thing. the only protection you have. Bitch, don't you tell me how to protect myself! Mom, what's going on? You're opening up, up an awful lot of unanswered questions. She hesitates, then sighs. I hear the rustle of footsteps and the sound of a door closing. What I'm... Uh, I cannot repeat to anyone, not even your father. Oh, fuck. Why not? Mom is a witch. <laughs> Why do you have to assume mom's a witch? How dare you assume? I don't know, she's cute. And she knows about this stuff. Alright, give me that. Alright. Maybe she's not human. Hold on, <clears throat> speculation. That's what That's I said she's a witch. Yeah, she's like not it. referring to herself as human. He's referring yeah. to humans as he. Yeah, she's like, because not knowing is the best dis- defense humans have. Humans. Uh, I refer people. to humans as humans. Well, see, but that's the thing. She's referring to them as humans and saying it, not seeing is their gift. That's a pretty weird outlier word for it to just kind of just be thrown in a conversation. I use terminology like that all the time. Yeah. Are you human? <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Um. That sounds like an answer. Yeah, I mean, I thought there's something wrong. But yeah, their gift? Think of it as an enchantment, a spell that protects us, but only. If all of us agree to participate, even without knowing we are. See? Oh, so it's like this a game. Is why, <laughs> this is why I think she's not fucking human. I don't think she's human either. With her saying that, it's at least a very un- For sure. Oh, Protection that, from so. what, though? Monsters. The creatures you saw today. Almost... Every fairy tale or folklore beast has a real life counterpart. No shit. And they're I'm, I'm very fuck this horse boy. Great. They're a very great threat to humans. Only because you don't understand them, Mom. Yes. God. Really that face. Right, it's not a phase. I have a fucking date with oh, a beautiful horse oh, now. The unsight? That sounds cool. All right, Katie, read your line. Hey, why are you to use my real name? What the fuck? Who's Katie? I don't know who Katie is. Wolfie, oh read your line. I hate, I hate every one of you. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say anything Except either. Except for Grandpa and my child. Damn. Hey. All right, let's continue. Or they used to be before humans developed the unsight. Dun dun. The unsight? Dun, dun. Good question. The gift I mentioned, the enchantment, hundreds of years ago, humans lived in fear of monsters! <gasps> Undertale! <clears throat> uh oh. No, no. It's accurate. Then we were given the unsight, the power that allows us 
to separate realities by choosing to ignore pieces of reality. That's crazy. That sounds dope as fuck. Are you doing drugs? That way. Whoa, whoa. That's. mm. These are some fucking. These are some lore drops. Oh my god, honestly. Drugs. Like, low key, I think mom's smoking some shit. Hey, she's either smo- she's either smoking shit or she's just not human. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I, well, thinking about this information kind of reminds me of my family. From both my families, they believe in UFOs. So this is kind of like I can understand this on a personal level. Yeah. They're not human. They are. Not human. Like they want to, you know, they watch videos and like, oh, there's you know, all these. There's our life in the sky, and like they All right. watch ancient ants every single day. So it's like, Let us go. Yeah. Using the unsight, but dun, dun. ignoring the presence of monsters. Excuse me. I'm always gonna say get done whenever anybody says the unsight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that oh, okay. now. Okay. Running jump. We were able to split the world into two planes. One for humans and one for monsters. Man, this is a wonderful robot. I don't see how this works. They were just able to do that? Well, it took a long time and wasn't stable for decades after. But yes. How do you know all this, Mom? How does she know all this? How do you know all this shit? This is like some really weird lore drops for your own mother telling you. This is like some shit you find in an old woman in a cave, and she's like, many years ago, the Unsight dun dun was created and we made it. He sounds like he's definitely old. Right? Yeah. This, she cannot be human for to know this much I information know. about this. Yeah, she cannot. She cannot. I don't think she is. Let's keep going. God damn it, Mom. Stop drinking so much coffee at night. I have to drink it. My stomach's so upset that I'm tired. I need to drink coffee, but I am not coffee. You're not allowed to get, drink coffee. You get too hyper. Uh, I can drink whatever I want, Dad. No, you can't. I'm not Dad. I'm Big Brother. That's too weird. I'm Dad. How can you be dead if she's my big, if she's my little sister? Because and you're my that's how big sister. Family. Look, that's how this family works. We are a huge ass paradox. Just saying. Oh fuck! Wait, everybody's gonna be able to hear this. You know what? Let's explain the family dynamic. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> okay, so I will see. And dad. My son is slonky. And I don't know if we called you by your actual name or we're calling you Magnus. Uh, just, just call her Mags. Okay, and, and Mags. Mags are my Mag is my kid also. And then my brother is right. You you can take the rest. Okay, so my name is Zephyr. Hello, I am the little brother. I have my own set of children, but weirdly enough, weirdly, Wolfie here, Wolfie here is my big sister, and Mags is my little sister, and Tabs is uh, my Wolfie dad, and all of the kids is granddad. Yeah, Tabs is dad. He's he's dad's dad, which therefore makes him grandpa. Hey, we make some grandpa. Yeah. I have a bunch of little shits for grandchildren. I'll tell you that. (laughs) Hey, you know you love us. I do, but you give me headaches. Damn. I got some Motrin. (laughs) Shake the pill bottle. No, no, just like eat all of them and just like. Uh, No, my God, don't overdose. I, I don't think you can overdose on Motrin. Yes, yeah, you can. I think my grandchildren that. also inherited my craziest genes, too. Probably. Wait, yeah. but I inherited some of your craziest genes. I didn't inherit 
any of those crazy genes, I inherited the anxiety, stress, hey, we have our own set of symptoms. Oof. Yeah. And what? Wait, what? Exactly. I mean, yeah. With theory time, I actually like super want to theorize. <clears throat> I don't think the mom is human. I think she's like either a witch or she's a, like a demon or something that was there when the unsight that done was created. And has just, like, kind of since been a creator, or, or curator. At, or, she's, like, a long line of witches, and uh, yeah, they get this they passed down to them every few years. Yeah. Tell them I can agree to that. But other than that, she does not seem in any way, shape, or form flesh. She's either A, right in one monster of some sort, or B, she is something of that magical sort. I have no idea what the fuck you just said, but it sounded like it made sense, so I'll go with it. Same. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why do I do that? I am here! <laughs> but you're Italian, I'm Hispanic. How was I born? Look! You just <laughs> happened, don't question it! <laughs> Was I adopted? No, no I birthed you. you. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, am I birthed every one of my children, damn it. None of you are adopted. Oh, okay. God. Disclaimer, I do not have any biological children of my own. Yet. Yeah. 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 All right. I mean, like... We, we ready to go? Hello, my son. Yes, we yeah, are. I mean, we were explaining the family dynamic and giving out, like, little... Yeah. <laughs> Shit like that. Fun stuff. Fun, fun, great stuff that I can't explain because I'm a chaotic dumbass. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Stopping That's what protects us while the realities blend together in some places, causing some cultural crossover. The people are kept. Mostly separate. I can't yeah. read. The segregation is so We're not gonna go into that. That's a wait, that's wait, a too touchy of a topic. And... I wasn't there for the entire beginning. They would put the warning at our person breaker. There was a lot of disclaimers. Mm -hmm. There not okay. really. I mean, it was it was going in YouTube. Oh, oh shit, we should probably give the very beginning warnings too that they didn't yeah, get to hear. Disclaimer. Uh, yeah, there's. Wait, 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 now that we're talking about it like a few minutes in, watch it, so we should probably just like, like, before the intro, be like, like, white screen warning, this game has the audio. Yeah, yeah. So yeah we're doing this vlog, so there's no editing. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. Yeah. We put it in the description. What is it? I can tell you the majority of people, 99% of people, do not fucking read the description. Yeah, tabs the YouTuber. Very different. Okay, we'll talk to you. Okay, let's continue reading now. Mm-hmm. Okay. The monsters can't see or hurt us. That's a lie. And we can't see or hurt them. That's also a lie. However, when someone can see through the other plane, problems arise. The unsight <laughs> awakens. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yeah. 
The well, people around, around them become susceptible to seeing it too, which puts more and more fractures in the enchantment. <laughs> Damn. And if the enchantment mm. weakened and broke, then we would get eaten by monsters? I can't believe I'm having this conversation with my painfully rational mother. Right? That is the general idea, yes. Some of them are very dangerous, while others can be neutral, or even friendly. It makes no difference. You have to ignore them all. Nah, fuck you. We're going for the horse boy. Have people not yeah, we're ignore going for big horse man. Yeah. Wait. Dude, wait, wait, wait. But this school is possible. How can you ignore them? Yeah. Well, I think I think the general idea is that there are the monster classes also happening in the human classes happening at like the same place but on a different plane of reality. And Jesse here just so happened to go into the linen closet and pass through the border between worlds. Oh, Basically, shit. that's probably what happened. That's what the basement was. <gasps> the basement was the portal. It had to be. That portal will go for that plane of the plane. Okay. Okay. That, that's a copyrighted theme song. We can't use that. We can't. We're going to monetize. Demonetize. We're going to get demonetized. No. Fuck it. Stop demonetizing. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. We're all chaotic stupid. Y'all are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, this game is very interesting. We've just barely begun it, and like we're all pretty much going in blind. Whereas, yeah, I played like five minutes. How far did you get? I got to uh, uh, Nicole I asking you out. Oh, really? Okay, so this is all blind then. Dope. Yeah, after that, okay. I. How long is our recording right now? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Uh, we might want to keep it under an hour. We've probably already reached that limit, if you want me to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. I guess our first video on the channel is going to be over an hour long. Nice. Thank Do we you. want to end it here and then me set up another recording? Yeah, that might yeah. work out. We had a pretty big lore drop this episode, so... I would yeah, assume... yeah, we had a huge lore drop. Yeah. Okay. This is just like the prologue or something. Yeah, well, we are. Time for the outro that we don't have yet. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Tabs, do you want to do this as the actual YouTuber? Um, <laughs> I have no clue. I, I usually pre-record my outros. I usually have them written beforehand. Damn. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. I want to try something. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Alright guys, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more, put a like in the comments. Like and in the remember, comments? Remember to share your favorites and put the episode on to a cancer, dude, with this YouTuber This cancer is not. We're not doing that. Okay. Fuck that. Okay. You know the best one that we can get? Just remember to like, comment, better than that. and or subscribe if you want. I don't care what you do. You know what? How am I saying, guys? This was the this was episode one. Like, comment, subscribe, click, and get bell notifications. So that way you can get